Everyone, I'm Mark Clegg. I'm Elizabeth Alex. There are new developments tonight in the shooting death of a man who operated two Warrensburg bars. Now, two men are now behind bars charged with first degree murder and armed criminal action in the death of William Whitworth. Zach Tecklenburg is live in Warrensburg. Zach, what do we know about these men tonight? Hi, Mark. 23-year-old Zaid Abid and 27-year-old Reginald Singletary Jr. are in the Johnson County, Missouri jail tonight. Just two hours ago, the county prosecutor charged them right here in these criminal complaint documents for those two charges each, first-degree murder and armed criminal action. And right here tonight in Warrensburg at about 9.30, more than 1,000 people are expected to show up for a vigil for this victim of this uh, shooting crime. And uh, a lot of them are going to be having the same question tonight. And I think that the question that will continue to remain is why? Why was Blaine Whitworth gunned down in his driveway Saturday night? A young businessman with two bars in Warrensburg and a bright future, says family friend Charlie Rutt. He is purposeful, he's guided, and he's passionate. He can't imagine why anyone would do it. In talking with Whitworth's parents, Rutt says the arrests of Reginald Singletary Jr. and Ziada Bede are progress. To know that we have suspects is a little piece of comfort. In criminal complaints filed late this afternoon, Singletary says he acted as a hitman. He says he killed Blaine Whitworth and that Abid paid him to do it. Warrensburg Police Chief Bruce Howey couldn't comment on how the men may have known Whitworth, what led up to the shooting, or how the suspects were caught. Brett says Whitworth's death is a huge loss for all of Warrensburg. I had come to respect things about him that were a part of his family for years. Hard work, dedication, and compassion, all gone with a gunshot. And a first degree murder sentence carries the maximum sentence of life behind bars. Now, again, that vigil beginning tonight at 9 30 in front of Molly's Bar in downtown Warrensburg. People, we're told, will be starting to gather earlier than that. In anticipation of that huge crowd, Warrensburg is shutting down many of the streets here. Reporter Sayed Shabir will be here to cover that for our 10 o'clock news. Live in Warrensburg, Zach Tecklenburg, 41 Action News. Well, we did some checking. Reginald Singletary used to work in the North Kansas City School District from September 2009 to February of 2011. He served as a classroom associate. He was also an assistant high school football coach at Winnetonka High School.